DV5 is finally out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's just the demo alpha, which is available right now. And I will leave you my link, my personal affiliate link in the description below. So you can click on this link if you want to, and you will land on this page. On this page, we have the beautiful button try the DV5 alpha demo. We can also find some, some great information about the journey that Elegant Teams is taking to go towards DV5. And so if you want to take the, the time to explore here, this is very nice to see. Let's go and see and click on this button here, try the DV5 alpha demo. I, I also have to say that I started my my WordPress journey using Divi, so I'm I'm pretty excited to to see what they are what they are doing right now to evolve into Divi 5.0. This is a, still an alpha version, so of course there will be a lot of changes, as also Nick Roach, the founder of Elegant Teams, said in the presentation video of this new demo, and. Um, I must say that it's quite interesting. There are many things that I love about DB5, about this interface, but there are also some things that I do not love that much. So I will share with you my impressions and I'm also curious to know what is your, what are your impressions. And uh, so tell me in the comment section below if there are something that you can, that you want to share with me. I must say that the first thing we notice when we load this page, as you saw, is the speed. This is incredibly fast, you see. If I switch, for example, between different views here in the responsive mode, it's incredibly responsive and fast. If I drag and drop elements, it's incredibly fast. I must say that it is very, very impressive here. And uh, if I open and close any, um, any tab here, it's very, very fast. This is gre great. You see here, tac, 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 I choose to open this. I can drag and drop everywhere here. It's quite flexible and very fast, yeah. I must say that this is incredible. Even if I try to, for example, duplicate something, or if I try to delete something, if I go and compare it with the other version of DV, for example, here I duplicate, you see there is at least almost one second of time between the duplication of a content. If I try to delete, you see, it's, uh, if I try to, let me sh show you here, you see, there is a, there is a time that you, you see that any, it's not instant, you know, and uh, the feeling of um, of the of the new version is very is very impressive because you duplicate here and it's instantaneous. You already have tuck. You just click. You 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 don't finish to click that. Oh wow, the action has already performed in the builder. Wow, beautiful. And the same for deleting stuff. Okay, great. If I want to duplicate, clone, yes. It's very, 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 very fast. Wow, incredible. Yeah, this is this is quite impressive. And um, let me do also a different, let me show you the difference here when I load the builder on the old DV4 version. <laughs> Not yet here, just to go outside the builder, you see that there are some seconds to wait. If I load the builder, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and sometimes also it loads twice. So <laughs> this is yeah almost ten seconds to load the builder. While here, if I load the demo, you see two sec, one second and a half, and uh, wow, everything is loaded. Yes, this is impressive. Wow, uh, let's go on now. And uh, I must say that this bar here, this top bar, is uh, interesting. I do not like it very much because I think that uh, yeah, I like it when we are in dark mode. This is new and is great. When you are in dark mode, you see you have quite of a more uniform feeling about the UI. But uh, when we are in the um, in the normal mode here, in the light mode. Uh, I think it's quite weird because it's uh, different from all the other DV settings and DV windows. You see, there are there are no, no I don't know. I, I feel that it's kind of detached from the from the rest of the DV interface. And uh, then we have this new left sidebar here. Okay, it's interesting because we have quick access to layers and uh, X-ray, which is a new feature here. You see that highlights all the content, modules and sections and so on. I don't know if it's very useful, but maybe in some cases it is, so why not? And we have a quick access to the wireframe view, the, the old wireframe view that we are used to if we used DV in 2015, like me. <laughs> this, this was the main view. Uh, at the beginning. And then we got the quick access to the layers. I love this one. These are a must have in every page builder now. Elementor has it, uh, Gutenberg has it. And so uh, this is very important to have in any page builder you see here. I I, I miss something here in Divi. I, sh I, I hope that in Divi 5, they will introduce a quick action, action like this one, you see, a narrow to move widgets and uh, modules and sections uh, between each other like this, uh, just by clicking one, uh, 
just one one click of the mouse and you and you go up and down and uh, all around because the fact that having that we have to use the drag and drop for every move we have to do inside the builder here it's a bit limiting i think because you see yes you see that when you select also the widget here you do not, you're not able to redrag it uh, wherever you want this is quite annoying because if i drag it here you see i have to click outside and then re-click here if I want to drag it some other some other place. While if I have this here, I just need to click up and down and I can move things up and down. Well, this is just my my consideration. I I hope that will they will introduce something like this. And I think that there are there is I don't like this, you see. When I when I go over with the mouse, there are thousands of stuff appearing, lines and icons. Of course, I can get rid of the icons here if I want. But uh, personally, I do not like to see all these lines when I just hover with mouse on some elements. I, I would like to have an experience more like uh, the Gutenberg one, you see. Here, when I go over the different blocks, I do not have many thousands of lines appearing. But if I select a single element, yes, of course, this, is, this makes sense because I selected the element. And um, you see, this is more... more I like it. This it's more polished. It's uh, is more minimalistic, and uh, I like this this experience here. And you have the icons and the lines, the outlines only if you select a single item. While here, you 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 see everything just by hovering with mouse. I I do not like this uh, personally. Let me know what what are your considerations about this in the comment section below. And let's go on here. Another interesting stuff is that you can. Um, combine together different windows. You see here, I've opened the builder settings, and if I want, I, I can combine it with layers in this case, you see, and I can construct, a, uh, I can create a personal light space, and uh, my working space in DV can be completely customized. This is great, you see, when I need to switch between different options, I can go here, I can go back to my layers. If I do not want them to be here, I can detach them, you see here, like this, and I can position maybe, on the contrary, this to the left side, I have to detach it and then to reattach it here on the left and uh, go here and place it here. Interesting, you see? This is highly customizable. I love it and uh, personally I think it, this is really, really, really interesting and uh, there there are no other builders that I know that use this, that has the, this level of flexibility. So, wow, this is great. And uh, let me show you also here, um, yeah, no, let me show you nothing. If you switch to dark mode, some comments about dark mode. Generally speaking, I love the fact that they uh, introduced other colors. So if I go in the website settings here, and no, sorry, in the builder settings here, I scroll down, I go to the color scheme, and you see here they have more color combinations, green, red, purple, orange, and this is interesting. I would love to see the option to choose my own maybe my own brand color, I would love that, because uh, like this you have the feeling to work in your own customized space, and uh, these colors are, are yes, <laughs> kind of uh, weird, uh, especially this red here is too, is very aggressive, and I think that in general the, um, the contrast here is too too aggressive for some kind of, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit aggressive, and uh, and not too much aggressive in some other cases. You see all these icons here, the not selected icons and the not selected uh, tabs are very, very slow. Uh, how do you say? Very, the contrast is not that that high, so uh, they will need to improve it. I, I, I'm sure that they will do this before the release of DV5, but uh, yeah, they're, they're just... There's they're something to work on in, the, in this uh, dark mode section here, That's more dark mode settings. To the red settings here, to the red color, uh, yes, okay, it's interesting. Let's switch to the green one. Okay, this is this is more, ah, okay, relaxing. Okay, what else to say? I must say that this sidebar here, I think that it's not that uh, um, useful. So I would uh, I would rather group all the options here into a single. A single icon right here, like in Elementor, you see in Elementor you have an icon right here which is the logo of Elementor, when you click it you have many options that you can click and select from and I would love to have all these options here grouped in that icon, up here maybe. 
and uh, this will polish uh, more the experience and one other one other thing I notice is that when uh, I open some panels like for example the add layout panel this one I do not I miss a contrast with the background you see I would have to I would love to have an overlay in the background uh, that uh, makes me focus on this uh, in the center uh, li library window here because otherwise it's a little bit cluttered you see here you have a lot of information visually and it's kind of wow <laughs> what's happening here a lot of lines and icons and elements I can click everywhere wow okay so I think that they they're going to address this it's um it's uh, obvious almost and of course this is still an alpha but interesting so let me know what do you think about this DB5 alpha I'm pretty excited to see what they will do with the release of the alpha and of the beta version and of course of the final DB5 version there are some good 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 um, new features because we saw them into the UI of DB5 also something that needs to be polished and uh, changed but I am sure that they will do many changes before the release of uh, DB5 into the UI especially and um, I hoped that they will insert a global a global panel where we have with the ability to uh, how do you say to manage all the global settings for example colors fonts and uh, uh, buttons and forms and uh, lines and shapes and paddings maybe and also some uh, maybe a system to to manage classes for example I don't know let's see what they will do Nick and the team I will I want to tell you if you if you if you watch this video I'm not sure but I, I want to tell you anyway keep on the good work you're doing great work and I really really hope to be able to to create a beautiful tutorial about DB5 in the near future so I hope that this version of DB5 will come out soon let me know what you think about in the comment section below what do you think will be the date of release of the actual official DB5 version I hope that this will be maybe in October I don't know <laughs> I'm maybe a little bit optimistic but maybe why not in October let's say a date 10th of, the, of, of October let me uh, let me know what are your your uh, forecast for this in the comment section below which is the date of release of db5 hope to see you in the next video and uh, until then have a great great work with wordpress ciao ciao <laughs>